their problems there with that 1277. How about Tim Palmer? We were talking about turbo cars, and here is Tim Palmer, turbocharged Cobra. Yeah, this is the Pro Charger Pro Mod class. Tim comes all the way from Texas with a precision turbo, a power glide. He has Speed Pro, Sean Hanna Motorsports, uh, short block. Stock heads on this car, and a big dog back in a pit. Did you did you see the, Did you see Kitty back there? Watch Palmer's Mustang leave the start line. A turbo car does not typically hit as hard as Whoa. this car. Does. Lights up the tires, goes to the center line, in and out of the throttle. Watch some mile an hour on this pass. Shuts it off early, and no time for Palmer. Must have left before the tree was activated. Yeah, it looks like that's what happened here. Or he is knocking on the door. All right, we're going to move into Pro Charger. Pro Mod class here. That's Uncle Wayne again, I think, on the left there, isn't it, Tim? Yeah, it sure is. That's Uncle Wayne about to lay the smack down on his crew guy there. You see the trout on the car, and you know he's taking on the turbocharged machine of Tim Palmer. Both cars completed the burnout, getting ready to take the stage in lines. Look like they're taking their time at it. Yeah, it looks like a uh, Alderman and Jeffrey on staging duel here. And hey, again, guys, it's only qualifying. That's right. We're only in qualifying. And again, different concepts going on here. Turbocharger versus supercharger in this pair. And let's see what we have as the tree comes down. Who's going to be quicker? Oh, oh something Palmer. wrong. There it goes. Way off the line first. Uncle Wayne said, you know what? I'm just going to sit here and finish my trout sandwich. Down at the top end, Palmer's car shuts it off again. 99, 998. Look at the mile an hour. 134 to 128. What a great pass. Moving right into Pro Charger Pro Mod. Here we go again with Tim Palmer and John Mahovitz. And look at Mahovitz, big, nasty berm out. You know, I tell you what. We had a chance to talk to Tim Palmer back in the pits. Let's go see Tim. Well, we're standing here in the pit area talking to Tim Palmer. Tim, give us a little information about your good-looking Cobra and that big turbocharger hanging off the front. Well, basically, it's a Sean Highland Motorsport-powered uh, long block, stock head, stock cams, uh, Precision Industries built, 91.5-millimeter uh, turbo, running the stock cams, stock springs, um, stock heads, no, no porting done whatsoever. Uh, started off as my wife's daily driver, brand new in 98, and uh, just kind of grew up, I guess is the best way to say it. Uh, had it in a, had the motor in the LX with the Vortec and switched over to a turbo. Wanted to go turbo, wanted to see how that was going to run, and seemed to do real well. So I'm just real impressed with the way it's responded. Uh, what type of suspension components do you run on the vehicle? Basically, the whole suspension is a, st is a stock style suspension. It's all Wolf uh, Racecraft in the rear. It's um, uh, their lower control arms, upper control arms, double sway bar, running QA1 shocks on it, adjustables, uh, Wolf Racecraft. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Anthony Jones engineering front suspension. Uh, got the Anthony Jones coilover conversion, Anthony Jones struts, shocks, everything. And uh, basically, that's a suspension. What kind of involvement does Kitty have in helping you tune the car? She's got a little bit of problems. Sometimes it's hard for her to stand up and, uh, and help me, but uh, she, she, she's a good pit crew, though. Yeah, she also keeps, she also keeps the supercharged guys away from the front fender and looking at the turbo information. What kind of ETs and mile an hour are you looking for this weekend? I'm hoping for uh, at least an 880. I uh, should be able to run it. If I need to, I'll turn off the boost. I haven't, haven't jacked with the boost at all, so I'm running about 17 pounds. So I'm going to turn it up, see what happens, and, and hopefully we'll go at least an 880, maybe a little lower. Well, fantastic. Tim Palmer, this beautiful-looking Pro Mod-style machine. Sheet metal intake and all with a big turbocharger on board. Got Kitty doing some tuning in there. Is that right, Kitty? She says absolutely. So thanks again for taking the time out for us. Kitty headed back in the trailer to do some adjusting on the turbo, and Mahovitz is somewhere in that smoke screen. Dave King is going, those Mickey Thompsons are expensive. What are you doing? That's you, my car. You can't even see Palmer. <laughs> Where the heck are we? There's, a, there's something in the fog, ladies and gentlemen. We think it's Tim Palmer and John Mahovitz, but we'll have to tell you in just a minute as soon as we, as soon as we get the smoke cleared. All right, yeah, we're in a Pro Charger, Pro Modified. I think this will be the final round of qualifying here. Looking for a good number for both of these cars. And again, different philosophies going out of here. You got supercharged on the car the Mahovitz is driving. That's Dave King's machine. You got turbocharger on Tim Palmer. We're working off at different philosophies of forced air and different techniques, but both cars run exceptionally well. Both of these cars are easily eight second capable. If, Looking to put down some good numbers. If not faster than eight seconds, we might see some of these cars even go faster here in the near future. So looking for both cars coming up on the RPMs, you'll hear build boost pressure on both vehicles before they leave the starting line. Gotta love that sound. Palmer on the wheel bars, launching off. He's on a pass. He is on one, that is for sure. Look at Palmer's machine go. How about the quickest ever stock chassis, 4.6 pack. Runs it out the back door at 10-11. Maybe not showing everything he's got. 
ATI Pro Charger Pro Mod Semi-Finals. Oh, wow. Look at this pretty pair of cars. A pair of yellow machines. Again, we're back to full tube chassis versus stock chassis. We're back to all motor. Because keep in mind, Angel's car has still got the nitrous on it, but hasn't gone to the nitrous yet. Going against Palmer in that turbo machine stock chassis. We saw the quickest ever four valve stock chassis pass ever. Let's see what Palmer has for us on this one here. You're a good line. Look at that. Palmer goes to the wheelie bars. Unbelievable. See that hard line there? Oh my goodness, Palmer looks out of the throttle. Angel goes down and gets the win. Let's, did you see that launch by Palmer's machine? The captain has turned on the fastened seatbelt signs for Tim Palmer, and he's got a lift out of it. Look at the launch, you can see everything wow. under the chassis. And gonna coast through the finish line, 1097, 134 on a drag radio for Jake LaMotta. Moving next into the Pro Charger. Pro Mod Final. Here we got John Mahovitz in Dave King's car going up against Tim Palmer. This is the finals. And again, doing one of those big 330-foot uh, Mickey Thompson tire shredding burnouts that Dave King loves so much. And we saw Palmer actually lose in the ra last round, but the car he was racing against, unable to make weight. So that puts Palmer right back in the finals. And you saw Palmer on that pass through the big, nasty wheel stand. And, you know, they had to have Kitty back there in the pits doing some repair work on the, the chassis of the car on the front suspension after that big launch. But, wow, this is going to be real exciting in the finals. Yeah, we saw this car yesterday during qualifying make the fast or the quickest ever 4.6 stock chassis pass ever. In modular history went 8.36. Went into the low, low eight-second zone. And, uh, again, looks like an Alderman and Jeffrey on battle again here. And either racer wanting to get in. Again, boost pressure on both cars. The turbocharger going to take a little longer to spool, so Palmer going to take his time getting into the beams. Oh, this is right. Palmer's in. Lights come down. Boy, a good launch for both cars. You see the light it's late on Tim Palmer. Palmer making a top-end charge, though. A little more horsepower. Uh, Tom Palmer's going to get it with a 9.15 at 100.